The first five levels of The Ultimate Doom were fully converted and released as Chex Quest, the first video game ever distributed in cereal boxes. Because the game was a conversion of The Ultimate Doom, much of that game still existed within Chex Quest, albeit in a way that could not be accessed in game. With a modern source port like Z-Doom, it's possible to use change level codes and play through these leftover levels, which consist of the remainder of the first episode and all of episodes 2, 3, and 4. Many of the textures from later parts of Doom were overwritten so that Chex Quest could take advantage of a greater variety of textures in its five levels. Because of this, the leftover levels take on a very strange appearance, with textures being mismatched, misaligned, and in most cases just not making any sense. The most difficult part of trying to play through these levels is the disappearance of high-level enemies. Before new sprites for Chex Quest were added, all the existing enemy sprites are removed, meaning that Lost Souls, Kaku Demons, Cyber Demons, and Spider Masterminds are all completely invisible. The remaining enemies are replaced with their Chex Quest counterparts, taking on any properties that they had. Former humans and shotgun guys are now basic flemoids and cannot shoot, and Burns of Hell are now flembrains and cannot move. Anyone wishing to play these levels can use ZDoom or any other modern source port, along with a copy of Chex.wad available at various Abandonware sites. Additionally, anyone wishing to play through Chex Quest, Chex Quest 2, and Chex Quest 3 can visit Charles Jacoby's site and download the entirety of the trilogy for free. If you don't feel like playing through yourself, I've done a playthrough of Chex Quest that you can check out here on YouTube as well. Thanks for watching!